。呃，你好，我是呃珠海的一位呃普通的市民，我就想有个问题，比较大，呃，像你提出了，就是硅谷呢现在很辉煌，过去、现在、将来也很辉煌，我们大湾区的横青，呃，未来将会很辉煌。我想问一下。我们现在中国来说，这是改革开放四十年，现在很多创业者，我们非常希望呢，硅谷的资源能够更快的投入我们中国的大湾区跟那个，呃，横青，还有呢，就是我们中国很多东西想走向世界，跟走向你们硅谷，想对碰，擦出更多火花。我想问一下，以我们现在中国大湾区横青。呃，应该做一些什么东西，能够更快的吸引你们过来？呃，谢谢。I am just a citizen from Zhuhai, and、uh, we are now in Hengqing. It is also a part of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. We know that with the national planning for this area, it will have a prosperous future. And this year also marks the third. 40th anniversary of China's reform and opening up, and with the wave of wave of China's reform and opening up, we now have、uh, many startup founders. And I would like to know how can we better attract resources from the Silicon Valley to China, and also how can Chinese ideas or technologies better go、uh, uh, go global in the world so that we can have a better. And new interactions between the two sides. So, to be specific, my question is: How can the Hong Kong, Macau, and Guangdong Greater Bay Area better attract resources from Silicon Valley and the rest of the world? Okay. <laughs> so, attracting、uh, startup founders. If you want to attract overseas startup founders. 如果你要想吸引在国外的创业者的话 ，then、uh, they need to believe that they can succeed in your market. 他需要相信他在你的市场上能够成功。So they need、uh, the number one thing is if you can show them examples of other companies that have come to your region and been successful. 所以呢，很重要的一点是，你要让他看到呢，就是一些公司来到你的区域里变得成功，让这些人呢成为一个很好的榜样。They also need、uh, to know what they can get in your region that they can't get elsewhere. 而且他们也需要知道，就是他在你这儿能得到什么，在其他地方得不到的东西。Do you have unique、uh, resources, relationships,、uh, industries that they can tap into? That will actually take them to the next level. You have one unique resource, 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 one Uh, the other thing, if you want to attract、uh, overseas incubators or talent, 另外一个呢，你如果要想吸引世界各地的孵化器和人才的话 ，Uh, again, it's very similar. Their businesses too. Uh, they need to see how they could reach their goals by、uh, setting up operations in your region. 同样啊，他也要看，如果他在你这个地方建立一个分公司的话呢，他能不能达到达成他的目标 ？I'm a big believer、um, in in ecosystems. 我是特别相信，就是这个呃，就是呃，那个什么生态系统的整个一个生态系统。And I believe that every ecosystem、uh, that is successful、uh, offers something that people. Uh, can't get in other locations. 我相信就是一个好的健康的生态环境呢，它能够提供给一个创业者呢，在其他的地方生态环境里不能得到的东西。And that is what attracts people. Their opportunity attracts people. 所以呢，通常吸引别人的呢，一定是机会。And、uh, and the and the、uh, special talent and a pathway so that they can realize what their goals are. 
那么对一个人才来讲的话，他可以重新设定他的目标，能够走得更高。So if it's a great university, it's like great universities tend to be great ecosystems. 那么说这个大学啊，一个好的大学，它一定是个很好的一个生态系统。They offer, uh, they can attract the best professors. 它能够吸引最好的教授。Uh, because they can give the professors a platform, and the 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 top quality students, and the research grants, and the prestige, and everything else that they need to achieve their goal as a professor. 他一定是让这个教授呢可以达成他的目标，比如说最好的学生、研究的经费和最好的平台。那么教授在这样的一个环境下，他就能够实现他的目标。You're very lucky to be in the Pearl River Delta. 你们呢，在这个就是珠江流域，这是非常。长就是珠三角啊，是一个非常幸运的地方。Because honestly, I see that as one of the best ecosystems in the world. 我觉得珠三角在全世界来讲都是最好的生态系统。Especially, um, you know, Shenzhen is extremely strong for startups. 因为深圳呢，对创业者来说是特别棒的地方。You know, with all of its uh, um, electronics industry, venture capital. And that, and and all the entrepreneurs, the critical mass of entrepreneurs. 比如说，在深圳呢，电子行业是非常发达的，而且深圳呢也有这些投资人在深圳，那么也有创业者的是很好的一个环境。I think it's a little hard for you being in the shadow of Shenzhen. 就是对你们来说呢，在深圳的阴影的影响下呢，可能有点困难。I think if you want to sell, um, you know, your region, which is part of the greater Pearl River Delta. You have to make it seem like for those people who come there from abroad that they are actually participating in Shenzhen plus something additional. 你呢，在那个地方，你应该让你让来的人知道，说你这个是在珠三角一个非常特别的地理位置。他来到横琴，来到这个地方呢，他不只是能够接触到深圳，而且他可以比深圳更大的一些机会和区域。Literally, because you're so close. To Shenzhen, they can get over there in in less than half a day. 嗯，其实你在那个很好地理位置呢，大家去深圳可能说半天就可以到了。So they can have everything Shenzhen offers, but then you need to uh position it. Some of this is marketing. You need to position it as you can access everything Shenzhen has, but you're also going to get this special thing that Shenzhen doesn't have that we're going to give you. 所以你呢，要让你自己在宣传的时候，你要说。你在我这儿能够得到深圳所能得到的所有一切，因为你到深圳很近。但是呢，你还可以得到一个你在深圳得不到的东西，只有我能够给你的。And uh, some of those things require creative thinking, brainstorming. Like you're in a way as a region, you are also a business, right? You have to market yourself and think of your customers and and provide value to them in exactly the same way that a startup does. 对，你要像那个创业者一样去想，就是这个是叫创新思维、设计思维。所以呢，你要去想说，我作为一个创业者来讲说，说你到我这儿来了以后呢，你能得到什么东西？我提供的服务有什么是超越别人的，在哪里都得不到的。Thank you， 谢谢。呃，你好，霍凡先生。呃，我我我想请呃那个翻译能不能我我的问题可能有点长，能不能就是像那边呃说一节，然后翻译？啊，可以可以。啊，谢谢哈。啊，你好，我自我介绍一下，我我我可能
但是对其他产业，并不是说深圳就是绝对有优势的，这是我的感感觉哈、啊。You say that the、uh, electronics industry in Shenzhen is where Shenzhen's strengths lie. Uh, and I would like to say that apart from the electronics industries, maybe Shenzhen is not the leader in the、uh, Greater Bay Area. And Zhuhai, of course, has its own unique attractiveness in terms of not only the federal policies for、uh, our companies and also the supportive services and the facilities. Okay, uh, 不是想跟你谈打对台戏。我我我，其实我想说的是什么？其实我我我现在目前呃这几年在呃在筹备的一些呃业务，其实是呃想在珠海落地。但是呢，呃，因因为这个呃呃，我我之前一直比较保守，因为我觉得呃我我们从事的这个呃是汽车后后市场行业，一个比较大的市场。这个市场呢，呃，因为它有一些商业模式的变化。所以可能会呃有比较大的商业机密，但是我我觉得今天听到这个呃霍夫曼先生嗯说呃我们不需要保保密，其实我觉得这个可能也改变了我的一些想法。我觉得确实没必要保保密。比比方说我们做的这个市场，呃，可能是在中国市场是是是是是有效的，但是呃我我我想说的是，我们做的这个后市场呢，可能是改变原有的一些商业模式。呃，但是我我不担心美国的这个同行，为什么呢？因为美国在汽车后市场、汽车市场里面有上百年的历史，所以不存在这个太多的这种竞争的关系。Uh, actually, uh, these years I am working to prepare my business for it to settle down here in Zhuhai. But actually, I am kind of too conservative about my practices. I am engaged in the post marketing of the auto industry, and in this market, we are now focusing on the transformation of the business model, which may involve some business confidentiality. And just now, you say that we don't need to keep it secret, and I think this is a very good idea because maybe our business model works in the post markets of the auto industry in China. But not necessarily in the United States. They have their own history in this market, and I don't think we will. They will be a major competitors for us. Ah, then, then, I, 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 I,
，而不是一个简单的这个商业模式。当然也是商业模式原有商业模式的改变，但是需要大量的资金来在早期筹备。所以这个情况下，我们这种创业和和早期的商业模式的改变可能就困难很多，因为资金是一道低道门槛。OK。And if we want to transform our business model in this new era, especially for our industry, the post market of、uh, the auto industry, I think we are now building it as、uh, as an internet or artificial intelligence based industry. And in such a transformation, we Not only need to have、uh, to change the business model, but more importantly, we need to have a、uh, capital. We need to have large numbers of、uh, auto parts, and、um, these are so the most important thing for us is capital. This is the first step for us for us to transform our business model, and this is somewhat different from the uh, newly. Uh, this is different from the. Old version of、uh, startup programs, but it is also related to business model transformation. 呃，所以所以我想请教一下霍坤先生，有没有遇到在美国遇到这种这种项目的比较起步比较困难，基于这个情况的项目的解决方案，或者是遇到这样的经验，有没有跟我们分享一下？ So I, what I would like to learn from、uh, Mr. Hoffman is that is there any、uh, project, a similar project in the United States where there they have some、uh, difficulties in their early stage, and do you have any solutions for these projects? Okay, thank you.、Uh, you know I. Would need to spend more time with you to understand your business in detail, but I can tell you advice I give to a lot of our startups that lack capital. 谢谢你的问题啊，我愿意以后再多花一点时间来跟你谈一下，然后了解到了解一下你的商业的模式到底是怎么样。但是呢，现在我可以给你个就是我遇到过的一些创业者的这样的经验。If they are smaller companies. But they are in an ecosystem with much larger companies. I often tell them,、uh, a lot of times you can get your capital from you, these larger companies that are failing to innovate. You can come in as kind of their innovation engine. 呃，我会给这个创业者的建议是，如果说你处在一个这样的生态环境中呢，你的旁边的这些都是很大的公司啊，那么你可以扮演一个角色，就是你呢成为他们一个创新的引擎，你去做一些创新的东西，帮助他们，那么从他们那边获得资金。There is some risk that they will steal your idea. 但是呢，你会冒一个风险，就是这些人呢很可能会偷你的想法，偷了你的这个这个商业模式。But usually, even if they steal it, they aren't good at executing on it. 但是就算他偷了呢，他也不能够很好的执行，所以你不用担心。Because they don't have a culture of innovation. 因为他没有一个创新的文化，像你一样。So what I what I advise startups to do is first go out and look at what new technologies,、uh, whether it's AI or other technologies, hardware technologies that you can bring in. You should be、uh, that you can bring in and get the rights to. And start that development process. Just begin it. So I would advise these startups to go out and look at some new technologies, such as AI. So these new technologies, you bring them into this field, and you start to research them. Then 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 you start to research And get them to invest. 当你有了这个创新的科技的时候，你就要去看一下你的这个大环境里面有没有一些大的公司。这些大的公司呢，很可能从你的这个创新的里面呢，能够受益。当他你找到这些的时候，找到这些大公司，你就把你的创新的这个成果呢带给他们，这些技术带给他们。那么他们能够受益的话，他就愿意付钱给你了。It really comes down to identifying a critical needs of those companies, and then being able to offer them something that that. Solves that meets those needs. 最主要的是你要能够分辨，分辨出呢他们这些最就是需要的这个尖端科技的需求在哪里。当你分辨找找到这个需求之后呢，你就可以去跟他们去呃谈了。
But I've seen a lot of startups begin with very little capital, but strategically they are very smart in bringing together all the different partners and all the different pieces so that they end up creating value at a very low cost, but the value is very high. 我看过一些创业公司啊，他们开始的时候钱不多，很少的钱，但是他们有能力呢，找了很多的这些合作伙伴，很多的这些资源。当把这些不同的资源、合作伙伴放到一起的时候呢，他们帮那些人创造了更多的价值。People like to invest in something they see is happening. They want to see that it's going to happen. So if you can get enough pieces together and、uh, present it in a way that this is definitely going to happen, that's when other parties jump on. And that's when the capital becomes available. Actually, these big companies, yeah, investors, yeah, they are going to invest in what? They are investing in what is going to happen. So you have to convince them. You have to put these little pieces together, so they know that you are doing something, you are on the path, and you are going to succeed. So they will invest in you. The hardest part is having a vision for the future that the others can believe in, and then getting the concrete for the future that the others can believe in, and then getting the concrete pieces, building blocks. Put together in a way、uh, that you are taking the first step towards realizing that. 最难的是你要有一个就是是就是未前瞻性的这个视野。你知道说未来会发生什么，将有什么东西是他们想要的，然后把这些模块呢都放在一起，组装在一起，然后呢能够让他们相信你只有你能做得到。Uh, that's the most I can say without knowing、uh, your business more deeply. 现在呢，我对你的商业模式了解的不是很清楚呢。我能告诉你的就是这一点了。Thank you very much。那如果我们的观众还有一个呃这个提问的机会，那我们留给我们这位女士。One more question from from the floor。It's going to be the last question。应该是最后一个问题。Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Diana. Thank you. I'm Victoria. Yeah, hey, Victoria. 呃，在刚刚我听完您说的之后，我有几个点，我觉得呃很深刻。第一个就是您说到那一个产品的好，还有最好的这一点里面，我觉得在我们公司，我们不仅拥有最好的产品，而且它是一个非常独特、唯一的一个产品，是获得那一个国际公认的时候，我怎么能把我的产品的那一个？价值最大的体现出来，除了一个产品给客户的一个体验，我更希望这一个产品带给客户的那一个价值化出来。在这一个价值化的前提下，我就呃听到了这一个生态系统的这一个问题。我希望在这一个呃产品使用的过程当中，能带给一个更好的一个社会的影响，无论是这这个人人文的环境。或者对于我们这个自然环境的一种回馈，然后最后我就是想了解一下，现在如果我想要我们这一个产品或者我们这一个文化这个生态系统如何走向这一个全世界，帮助更加多的人来创业，更好的来生活。因为我觉得在创业的过程中，不仅需要一点，呃，创业过程中我觉得还需要多一点的温度，有多一点的爱。谢谢。Uh, after hearing the presentation from、uh, Mr. Steve Hoffman, I am、uh, deeply inspired, especially by your、uh, good、uh, business, great idea.、Uh, I think that for a business, if it has great products, it should also have a uniqueness in its great products, and it should win international recognition. And、uh, to help these. Great products to better maximize its value to our customers. How can we better do so in this regard? Because I we just don't want to only provide the customer with experience, but also, as you said, value to them. And the second comment on your presentation is that you mentioned about ecosystem, and I think this is also very important as our customers are using our products. We hope through their use of our product, we can create better influence not only for these human society, but also as a feedback for the nature, the natural environment. And you also mentioned about how、uh, we can better help people across the world to better start up their programs, their businesses, and also to better、uh, to have a better life. So I would like to know how can we help our ecosystems 
to also go global to meet the demands of people across the world. Because I think in the process of innovation and entrepreneurship, we need more warmth and love. Thank you. Uh, it so now I would like to hear from you your comments on these three issues. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your kind words. I really like your attitude of approaching business. I think it's so important in today's world to be socially conscious. You know, building a business is more than just about how much money you can make. It's about the effect you have on your community and people all around the world. So by taking your values, you know, of caring for other people, of, of, of caring for the environment, and of, of, of building something uh, that has a really positive impact, I think that having that at the core of your company is a great strength. As people around the world today are becoming more and more conscious that our planet is a living planet and that uh, right now it is a dying planet. You know, millions of species are on the verge of extinction. Our oceans are extremely polluted. We have climate change. Uh, so people are very concerned about these issues. Uh, in the United States and around the world, we have seen many startups uh, that take, uh, that are conscious of, of, of these issues and build them into their products, build more sustainable, uh, better products for the planet. This idea resonates with people. It actually moves people to buy their products. So recently, uh, companies like yours uh, that are trying to uh, build a profitable business and do good at the same time have done extremely well in the marketplace. I think part of it is looking at your industry. I don't know what your product is specifically. But look at your industry and look at your competitors and, and look at what they're doing and imagine how could we do this better. How could we make a product that is much better for the world and for people? That may cost you money to do. But then you gain an advantage. You can use uh, what you have done to market your product, to communicate and get customers to switch from other products, and they do not mind paying even more for your product because it aligns with their beliefs. 前期的这些付出的调查呢，一定是有价值的，因为你可以用你得到的这些数据啊，去跟你的客户去论证，去说明，然后告诉他们说你更了解这个市场，而且用你的产品会比别人好在哪里。You know, if you went back 50 years ago, most people didn't care about these issues. 其实五十年以前的话，很多人根本不在乎这些事情的。So doing something like this would not have had a big impact on your business. 五十年前要做你现在做的事情呢，肯定就没有什么影响力。But in today's world. It can not only be very a uh, good strategy for the earth, but a very good strategy uh, for your the growth of your company. 
不管是做一个好的策划也好，好的生意也好呢，它一定是有帮助，而且对人类有帮助，对你的生意就有帮助。So I'll tell you to do two things. 所以我告诉你，你要做两件事。One, first, go to your customers and find out what they care about most. 你要去见你的客户，然后问他们，找到他们最关心、最在乎的到底是什么。Look at your competitors, find out what they aren't doing, and find out that intersection of what your customers really can. Care about and what you can do better to uh to make a product that is better for them and better for the world. 而且呢，去看一下你的竞争者，看他们在做什么。然后在这个交集点上呢，就是竞争者和客户的交集点上，你看一下，说你能做什么，能够超越他们，然后对世界更好。And then experiment. Don't just do one thing. Try one thing. If it works, do more of it. If it doesn't work, try something else. So you, in the test, don't just do one thing, one method. You try one method, find out what works, what doesn't work, and what can be done better. You try one method, find out what works, what doesn't work, and what can be done better. Always keep experimenting through this process of going to customers, looking at competitors, looking at for where there's that opportunity for you to be special, unique, and better than they are. 这个程序要不断的去重复啊，就是跟你的客户去了解，然后了解他的需求，然后再看一下市场需要什么，然后另外呢，发现你自己能够做什么去比你的竞争对手更强的地方。And letting your values guide you, I think,、uh, is a very good decision. 我觉得让你的价值观引领你的话，是一个非常好的决定。So good luck with your business. 祝你好运。Thank you very much for your answers. 好，那么随着我们现在已经快要接近中午十二点了，那么今天的这一期活动呢，我想就到此结束了。再次感谢各位的参与，感谢严志宏教授和徐木总经理的参加，谢谢各位，谢谢吴老师。And so far today's session, as we are approaching twelve o'clock at noon, so thank you again, Mr. Steve Hoffman. Thank you very much for your excellent presentation and your comments and suggestions for us. 让我们呢一起来感谢这个 Steve Hoffman 先生。好 ，Thank you very much。我们也在这里谢谢恒行，谢谢的主办方，也谢谢翻译的吴老师，然后也谢谢呢刚才的呃参加论坛的这个严教授和徐总，也谢谢呃这个 Monica， 还有我刚看到那个穆百军先生也在观众席里面啊，我们也特别谢谢，也谢谢李伟辉书记，我们的团队一起来上台，我们再跟大家一起告别，来看看看我们今天的这个让这场直播互动能够顺利进行的，我们是有我们团队有柠檬。有 Julia， 然后有 Sandy， 然后我们跟 Steve Hoffman 一起呢，跟大家告别。So let's say goodbye to them together,、okay. and we have our team working together to、All、make、right. this happen, and also the team in Hengqing to make this happen. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.